Now to that stunning arrest of the drug kingpin who goes by the name Dread Pirate Roberts. Pierce to have cornered the internet drug market. His real name is Ross Albrecht, and his website, Silk Road, is packed with products like cocaine and heroin. ABC's Gio Benitez is here with all the details. Good morning, Gio. George, good morning to you. The FBI calls it the most sophisticated criminal marketplace on the internet. Thousands of drug dealers used it to sell drugs and completely hide their identities. This morning, the FBI says the 29-year-old seemingly clean-cut entrepreneur was living a secret life as a digital drug lord, operating an online black market bazaar called Silk Road, often referred to as the eBay for drugs. Here's an online commercial. Now Ross Ulbricht is in federal custody, arrested Tuesday, and the site he allegedly ran shut down after a two-year undercover operation. Very sophisticated, very intellectual individual who took those skills and those talents and developed an online website that marketed illegal goods, illegal services. Just look at some of the 13,000 items offered through that underground site. Ultra clean cocaine, clean and real LSD, high grade MDMA, also known as Molly, all with fast and free shipping. Court documents say Silk Road sold $1.2 billion worth of drugs and illegal services in just under three years. They were comfortable operating in that environment because they felt that they enjoyed uh, complete anonymity. Investigators say the Penn State graduate tried hiding his identity on Silk Road with the username Dread Pirate Roberts, just like in the movie The Princess Bride. You're the Dread Pirate Roberts, admit it. With pride. Even so, it seems at least one Silk Road user threatened to reveal the identities of thousands of others. So investigators say Ulbricht tried to execute a murder for hire on that user, offering $150,000 to a would-be hitman because, quote, this kind of behavior is unforgivable to me, especially here on Silk Road. Anonymity is sacrosanct. Just because the Silk Road has been shut down doesn't mean that this concept is going to go away very easily. The operator made $80 million in fees. That is a huge incentive. $80 million. Well, Ulbricht's attorney, a public defender, has not returned our calls for comment. But investigators say his key mistake, he allegedly used his personal email address for nearly all Silk Road communication, George. Okay, Gio, thanks very much. Let's talk to Dan Abrams about this, our chief legal affairs anchor. And I am just amazed that a website like this can stay up for so long. Yeah, it's accessed through a special network on the internet which called Tor, which allows users to basically immediately, it immediately encrypts, masks who they are, so you can't identify what their IP address is. Also, the payment system is all through bitcoins, which is basically digital currency, not backed up by any international banks, not backed up by any U.S. banks, but simply based on the confidence of the users who exchange these bitcoins computer to computer. And so the FBI's whole case is based on the idea of if they can show that Dread Pirate Roberts is Ross Ulbricht? That's right, that's, that's, that's the most important part, right? One of the issues is going to be can they definitively link, uh, because he was trying to hide his identity on the site as well. So the first thing they're going to have to do is definitively link him as the person who runs the site. Then the second thing is, look, typically when you're talking about a website, right, people would say, well, look, if people are exchanging information and they're dealing drugs, you know, it's not our responsibility. Uh, we just put up the site. The problem is, in this site, they're taking commissions, and you've got, it's a beautiful site. Looks like, you know, sort of like Amazon in the sense that it's got all the different kinds of drugs that are for sale up there. So it'll be very difficult to claim, oh, we didn't, we didn't know about what was happening on the site. And we heard at the end of the piece, this is not going away. Oh, yeah, no, no, this is, look, this is going to be the biggest takedown of what is currently in existence. And you're now going to see them on warning, and yet you're going to see a bunch of smaller entities, I think, begin to try to take over.